sexes, yes. The battle of the sexes, yes. S E X E N. It's a funny form of war, woman versus man. What they're always fighting for is to gain the upper hand. Who'll have to do the work? And who'll have time to play? Who can dive around and shove? And who can control the pain? Battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes. job I hold down, I put solely to the test. So when it comes quitting time, I surely do need rest. But at home I can't relax, do the honey do attacks. Honey do this, honey do that, and honey do the other. Oh brother, time I finish with one task, my wife dreams of two more. There's no favor, she won't ask, no errand, and no chore. Even though I do resist, she has her ways to insist. Honey, do this, honey, do that, honey, do the other. Some other duty to none. If you made the marriage seem, you ought to understand. A husband's just a cross between a hero and a hand. Hired to help around the house, doing our jobs for his spouse. Honey, do this, honey, do that. the risks involved, as does the heroine of this next song.
She left a neighborhood in which everyone was filthy rich. She left her parents home and strayed with a vagabond who made vows of love she'd never heard. And she believed his every word. She left no forwarding address, just took her youth and happiness. As with the boy, she vanished in the secret sweetness of their sin. A young girl, a young girl of 16, child of springtime, still green, lying here by the road. He told her love demanded space, and so they roamed from place to place. Although she realized she sinned, she threw caution to the wind as she followed him around. Well, he just slowly dragged her down. So overpowering was her love that it had made a captive of the young girl's heart and soul and mind. In other words, Love drove her blind. A young girl, a young girl of 16, child of springtime, still green, lying here by the road. Too much emotion for a girl, she let her heart become her world. But worlds that God has never wrought fall asunder, we are taught. Had she been wiser, she'd have known she couldn't feed him love alone. She should have known the day would come when he would quit her just for crumbs. He wanted fresh new meat to call. Left her heart, soul, and mind to starve. Margaret Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Calvin Brunson is on piano. Oscar Brown the third on bass. That's a song by Charles Aznavour, a young girl. I first heard it at Un Enfant. A French friend introduced it to me made that English translation. I'm always pleased when people are impressed by that song, although I often think they applaud for the wrong reason, out of some sort of jazz sympathy for the young girl. But I mean, to be fair, we can be more liberated than that. Look at the same story from another viewpoint. The story concerns a woman like many of you. Unfortunate encounter with On her way to work one morning down the path alongside 
the lake. A tender-hearted woman saw a poor half frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. She cried, I'll take you in and I'll take care of you. Take me in, tender woman. Take me in. She wrapped him up all cozy in a comfortable silk. She laid him by her fireside with some honey and some milk. She hurried home from work that night and soon as she arrived, she found that pretty snake she'd taken in had been revived. Take me in. Take me in. Take me in. Side the snake. <laughs> she clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in by now, you might have died. She stroked his pretty skin again, kissed and held him tight. Instead of saying thanks, the snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in. You better take a me up. I'm a loss. Like it 
in there. Oh, but for too very long. Oh, boy, I felt that boat so strong. Adam had to take it to the law. Well, when the sun gets done with day, and runs off with all the rays. I comes home to where I stay, and down I lay, staring in the starry night, praying, Lord, with all my mind, that somebody out of sight comes, makes it right. Makes it Every morning right from scratch I run through this lonesome patch Hoping somewhere there I catch up with my mat And stare behind each bush and tree Hoping somewhere there I see Someone sweet made just for me where can she be? Where can she be? Where can she be? Where can she be? Cause the Lord can always tell when a critter ain't too well. So the minute he see that I'm dragging along, looking peaky, sort of soon. Like he'd been struck by the moon. Naturally, the Lord asked. Adam, man, what's wrong? All the critters you create, you done matched up with their mates. All that is except for me alone. Since you's got your work to do, I can't all always be with you, and it sure gets lonesome down here on my own. Is that all it now? Don't fret. What you need, you am a pet. I'm sorry, Lord, it's going to take much more than that. This is the funniest feeling yet. It's as if something I show enough upset, something's come alive inside of me, just switching all about. So dead set on coming out that if you could do it, I wish you'd set her free. Many turn and bend, searching for my loving friend, wondering where and how and when my search will end. I'm not singing no sad song, but this feeling love so strong. Yes, it's absolutely wrong. Please send her along.
yes, it's true. You're my man, take my hand, I'm with you. Sunshine or rain, happiness or pain, with you I remain a friend in So proceed any day, any way, anywhere. Take the lead with my life and my love in your care. treat
Just love. 